in this video we'll be considering the given grammar and construct the lr1 items along with clr passing table so clr uh, can be defined as canonical lr so it is the most powerful compared to it is the most powerful compared to slr and lr so it works on very large class of grammars so here one in lr1 this one represents the look ahead value so uh, before we proceed to finding the lr1 items our first step is to find out the first and follow of the non terminals here we have non terminals s and a so finding the first and follow of s and a so let me write the first and follow for s it would be a and d for capital a also it would be a and d follow of s is dollar and follow of a would be a d and dollar so if uh, i have directly written the values here Uh, if you want to understand how i obtain first and follow do refer my previous videos i have explained uh, the steps to find first and follow along with the algorithm so now moving on to the next step that is uh, to construct the argumented grammar g dash so to construct the argumented grammar g dash here we need to remember certain things that is um, the starting state we need to start with the production s derives dot s comma and there would be a look ahead here so as it is lr1 items there would be one look ahead here so let's write dollar here initially so from this state i need to obtain s dash derives s dot comma and dollar so this dot has to shift to the end dollar would uh, this comma would be here and dollar would be here so if i have uh, s being here if i have s being a non terminal if x derives x so then i should write it in the form s derives dot x comma and there would be a look ahead here so yes i'll i'll start writing from the start uh, from the start symbol that is s here so it would be s dash derives dot s comma dollar so i have written dollar here and after dot i have s s being a non terminal i should write all the possible productions of uh, s with dot as a prefix and followed by the production comma and i should find the look ahead for that particular production so i'll write for s so s derives dot a a comma and look ahead i don't know i'll find out it and yeah so after dot i have a here a being a non terminal i should write all the possible productions of a also so dot a comma and look ahead i should write and here also a derives dot d comma and look ahead i should find out so in order to find out the look ahead i should consider the first production that is consider the first production that is s dash derives dot s comma dollar and compare this with a derives alpha dot b beta comma a so comparing these two you should find first of beta and a so comparing these two i can get beta is epsilon here a is do dollar here so first of epsilon and dollar first of epsilon and dollar i would get dollar itself so for all the productions uh, comprising of s i would write dollar in that place s derives a a so i'll write dollar here next i have a derives next i have uh, this s derives i'll take s derives dot a a comma dollar and compare this with the equation then i'll get first of beta a beta here is um beta here is alpha dot b b so beta here is a 
and followed by that I have small a. So first of uh, a and dollar. So first of a would be considered first of a is a and d. So for all a productions I can I should write a and d is look ahead a slash d a slash and d. So here I am done with writing the i not items with the look aheads uh, in a proper sequence. So let me put a put this in a box and name this as i not. So over s I can shift this dot right. So I'll get s dash derives s dot comma and dollar. So after dot I have comma which is a terminal so I need not write anything here. So this would be this would be my i1 production coming to this is done. So next I have a here capital A I'll write s derives capital A dot small a comma dollar. So here after dot I have a a being a non terminal I should write the possible productions of a so that would be a derives dot a a comma and look ahead and here also a derives dot d comma and look ahead. So in order to find out the look ahead let me write this production s derives a dot a comma dollar and I'll compare this with a derives alpha dot b beta comma a. So I'll write first of beta is epsilon here a is dollar first of epsilon and dollar I'll get dollar itself. So here it would be dollar here also it would be dollar. So here I have obtained items i2. Next I am done with this. Next I have small a. So for small a I can write a derives small a dot a comma a slash d. After dot I have capital A here so I will write the productions a derives dot a a. Here um, the look ahead would be the same if you if you perform if you check it with this equation it will result the same so I'll write it directly a derives a slash d and here also a derives dot d comma a slash d. So I'll put this in a box and name it as i3. Next coming to I'm done with this next coming to d I get a derives d dot comma a slash d. So this would be my i4 item. So I'm done. So I'm, now I'll check i1 item. So there's nothing to further expand or shift the values. In i2 I have. So after dot I have a here. So let me write over a the production changes to s derives a a dot comma dollar. So I can write this. This was i4 production. So I'll write i5 here. I'm done with this. Next I have small a. So over small a I can write a derives a dot a comma dollar. a dot a comma dollar. So after dot I have a a being a non terminal let me write the expansion a derives dot a a comma dollar and a derives dot d comma dollar. So this is i6. Next over d I would get i4 itself. No, 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 I won't get i4, sorry. So over production, over the d, over the terminal d, I would get a derives d dot comma and dollar. So here it might look the same, but then the look ahead is different. So I'll name this as i seventh production. So I'm done with i1 and i2. Now I'll check for i3. So for i3, after dot I have a here. So over a I would get a derives a a comma dot comma a slash d. I'm done with this. So I'll put this in a box and name this as i8 production. Next coming to this the second one I over small a I'll write it as a derives a dot a comma a slash d a dot a comma a slash d is similar to i3 right so instead of writing here I'll write i3 here so I'm done with this now I have a derives um, dot d comma a slash d so over d I would get i4 itself 
So I am done with I1, I2, I3 and I4, checking I1, I2, I3, I4. I5, you can't expand it further. I6, yes, it's possible to expand I6. So let me write for I6. So I6 over capital A, I would get A derives AA comma dot dollar. AA comma dot dollar. I put this in a box. This was I8. So I'll name this as I9. So over small a, I would get small a dot a comma dollar. Small a dot a comma dollar is similar to I6 itself. So I'll write I6 here. And over D, I would get I7 here. So here uh, I'm done with checking for I6. Now if you look at I7, I8, no, it's not possible. I9 also, it's not possible. So I have constructed the argument gra argumented grammar for the given G value, for the given grammar G. So here I am done constructing the uh, CLR passing table. That was my next step. So now I'll start filling the values from the argumented grammar. So firstly, from the I0 production, I0 over S, I would get I1. I0 over S, I would get I1. In the go-to part, I'll write all the non-terminals and in action part, I'll write all the terminals. So, from my not, it is going to uh, I1 over S. So, yes. From I0, it is changing. From I0 over A, it, it becomes I2. So, 2 here. Then, coming to the, non, the terminals here, I0 over small A, it would shift to I3. I0 over small a, it would shift to I3. I'll write S of 3, shift 3 or S3. I0 over D, I would get I4. I0 over D, I would get I4, that is shift of 4. So, yeah. Coming to I1, no. I2, I, I0, there's nothing further deriving, no. I2 over capital A, I would get I5. I2 over capital A, I would get 5. I2 over small a, I would get I6. I2 over small a, I would get S6. And I2 over uh, D, I would get S7. Coming to I3. I3 over capital A, I would get S8. Or sorry, 8. I3 over capital A, I would get 8. And then I3 over small a, I would get S3. I3 over A, I would get S3. And I3 over D, I would get S4. Coming to I4, I4, not, no. I5, not possible. I6. I6 over capital A, I would get I9, that is 9. I6 over small a, I would get S6. I6 over D, I would get. I6 over D, I would get. I7, that is shift of 7. I7, no. I8 is not possible. So I am done with shifting of the non-terminals and uh, the terminals here. Now, I need to remember one thing that if the production is of the form S derives S dot comma dollar. So if it, if it is of this form, then in action, here S is the start symbol. Then in action part, I can write that production number, that item number comma dollar should be uh, filled as accept. So if you check s dash derives s dot comma dollar is in i1. So i1 over dollar I should write accept here. Next I have if, if, the, uh, if the production is of the form a derives alpha dot comma a then I should write in the action, I should write action of that production number, comma, whatever is there in the look ahead part here. So the look ahead part, look ahead part here should be equal to reduce of A derives alpha. Here the production number should be written. So explaining this by taking the examples here. So firstly, I'll take I1. So I1 is of the form A dash A derives alpha dot comma A. But then here there's one condition that is A should not be the start symbol. So you can't consider I1. 
so i'll take i4 now so i4 it is of the form a derives d dot comma a slash d so comparing these two i would get in action part i can write i of 4 comma a and d is here so a d is equal to reduce of a derives alpha a derives alpha that is a derives d S derives A A is the first production, A derives A small a is the second production, A derives D is the third production. So this resembles to the third production, so I'll write R3 here. So next I have I5, next I have I5 that is S derives A A dot comma dollar. So I can write I5 comma dollar, here a dollar is there, so equal to R of S derives A A is R1. Next I have I6 not possible, I7 I have, it is of the form A derives D dot comma dollar, so I can write I7 comma dollar is there here, is equal to reduce A derives D, A derives D is the third production, right, after 7 I have I8 here, so let me write for I8 that is A derives A A dot comma A slash D. So I can write I8 comma look ahead part that is A and D should be equal to reduce of A derives A small a. A derives A small a is the second production so I will write R2 here. Next I have I9 here that is of the form A derives A A dot comma dollar. So I can write I9 comma in look ahead I have dollar is equal to A derives A small a is the second production so I will write R2 here. So I am done with uh, finding the reduce part now let's fill the values in the table here so i4 comma a i4 comma a i should write r3 i4 and d i should write r3 i'm done with this 5 and dollar i should write r1 5 and dollar i should write r1 i'm done with this next i have 7 and dollar r3 7 and dollar r3 done with this 8 and a i8 and a r2 i8 and d r2 I9 and dollar are 2. So I am done filling the values in the table. So if you look at the uh, passing table, there are no multiple entries or any conflicts occurring in each single cell. So I can say that the given grammar is C L R. So uh, C L R or L R 1. So I hope you have understood how to find out the L R 1 items and check if the given grammar is C L R or not. If you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.